Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot. We left off here at Up the Creek, which is the second island of the game, the beginning of it. So let's get right to it and see what happens. I practiced these levels a little bit, and yeah, I see what they're saying about the difficulty ramping up. This stage isn't too bad. It's kind of like a carbon copy of the previous stage that was like this. But did you know that although bandicoots eat primarily insects, like your earthworms and things, little grub critters on the ground, they'll also eat almost any food scrap. Including apples and peaches, and maybe that's where they got the whole apple thing from, from here. There's a little bandicoot tidbit for you. Because probably nobody cares to know, stupid monkey, stupid. Oh, I thank God for the tribal mask. Yeah, everything about this music just reminds me of ukulele, like, way too much. I don't know. I know it's stupid because this came first, but whatever. Speaking of food, I myself have just eaten a cheesecake. A little bit of something. It has no relevance on anything. Cheesecake and a banana. You know, one of those moments when you don't really know what the heck you want to eat, and you just kind of, like, wander around looking... Whatever's easy to grab and consume without much effort. Yeah, that's how that happened. The heck does this do? I never really figured it out. I thought it made the apples respawn, but I don't know. Somebody knows. But not this Dumbo. Been playing Stardew Valley. I think I'm going to alternate uploads between this and that. This will be done way before that game, though. I'm enjoying it quite a bit, actually. It's a nice... Talk about a... Would it be juxtaposition? The grueling difficulty and frustration of this game at times. And then the casual just... Sit back and relax with, on a farm of Stardew Valley. I don't know what it is, but like a lot of these stages that we're about to do, I'm really hoping I do better. Because I failed miserably in them until I eventually succeeded, and then I just reloaded the save. And now here we are. But there's just something about that first pass through stuff where it's like you make every dumb mistake possible. And that's exactly why I did not want to... What the heck, man? Ah, I think that's the popularity of speedruns, too. It's because in addition to the fact that you're just beating the game fast, I missed two boxes, dude. Two! Yeah, there might be, like, cool tricks and skips and stuff, and that's always neat, but just beyond that, you know the person's playing well, and they're probably not gonna die unless it's intentional. But Ripperoo! This guy... He reminds me of a Donkey Kong 64 boss. Not his appearance at all. <laughs> this. What was it? Jack in the Lantern guy? That, whoops. Jack in the box of... Yeah, they use Tiny Kong, remember? What the heck am I doing, man? We're not gonna be... Alright. He's got three patterns based on his health bar. You gotta explode the TNT. And not be stupid. But you can hide in the corners here, so that's good. You gotta wait for it to get to the second row. And then he should. Yeah. Oh, will that one get him too? Yes! Okay, now he's gonna come up to like where I am. So you gotta time this hit. Like as soon as he leaves this top platform, I'm not gonna get him here. That might be too early. Yeah. It's like as he's jumping from that middle one at the top. You gotta activate one of them.
Actually, that might work. Yes! Well, that was way better than my first time. You don't want to see what happened there. That was ridiculous. You get a trophy for all this stuff, too. If achievements are anything you care about. But since I already did it, it's not popping up on the screen, but that's fine. The Lost City. Now this one, look at the icon. There's a green gem. I was reading up about this, too. Yeah, right there. Break every box without dying. So not only do you have to break all the boxes, you can't die. And then that's how you unlock the hidden gem paths or whatever. I fumbled quite a bit the first time through this one, too. But it really isn't that bad. And what I have noticed and like about this is... I don't know if it's programmed to just go immediately with every new obstacle. Like a lot of platformers are. But it seems to be, like, the faster you go and, like, don't dawdle and think about stuff, the better you do. It's kind of a weird thing how your own brain could be its own worst enemy. Ah, crap, you're supposed to bounce on that to get the baldy dude icon. So yeah, we're not getting that gem. Might be something to do, like, after we beat the game, go back. Maybe. Icon, so that's good. Yeah, like these bats, I'm waiting around too much. But it's better than dying, I guess. Ah, you can ride on top of those too. I think you could get on top of the stage and just run past. Or maybe that's a different thing. I like these kind of things. Timed platforms like that. That's always fun in every game. Except don't let's not be stupid now. What's hard? I've never really been a fan of temple-y Aztec type stages though. Like even in Banjo Tui, the temple one, the very first world, I'm not really too keen on that one. Donkey Kong 64, going back to that, that has a Aztec type stage. I don't know. It just seems like, from my history with games, if ever you're gonna be, like, stuck for a while in a level and likely to get a headache, it always happens to be those, like, deserty, Aztec temple-y stages. Like, even Donkey Kong Country, those two temple levels in that game. As a kid, they were really tough. Not really too bad now. This one's all right, got some more cool platforms. Uh, wait for it. Go watch the bats. All right, we're good. Cool. that was a little sketchy, but we did it. Wait, did I die? I can't remember if I died. I fell and, like, did stuff sloppy, but did I actually die? Doesn't matter, we missed boxes. I didn't get what's-his-face's icon. Because a lot of the boxes in these stages are in the bonus rooms. I never did play the go-kart game. With Crash Bandicoot. It was for free not too long ago on the Switch. But I missed the little window of when it was free. Oh yeah, this is the crazy Apple one. This one's weird. 
Luckily, it doesn't count as a death, though, if you die in these bonus areas. And you can just try again immediately after. So actually, this would be probably a spot to get, like, 99 lives. I don't know if it would be the fastest spot, but... Of course, I wouldn't miss the one. I'm surprised I even got to the end. Well, we're gonna have to do a stage that's... Yeah, it sucks. Coming up. I don't know if it's the next one or the one after. But thanks to that speed run I watched... Jeez, man, stop trying to bump me off. Don't bump me off! Well, I guess you can do that. But yeah, thanks to that speed run I watched, I discovered a trick that I am absolutely... Well, I have... I know I can do it a little bit. It really isn't that hard, it's just being careful. But more on it when we actually get there. There's a block up there, you gotta bounce and hit to activate these. That's what they do. They activate crates. Okay. See that number there? That means you suck! <laughs> but you missed a bajillion boxes! Just beat you over the head with it. 25, okay. Now is it the crazy bridge level? Because that's the one. No, we're not there yet. Temple runes. What is this one all about? Oh, this is a cool level, though. I like this one. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle has some temple-y things that are kind of like... They just go on and on. I guess the entirety of Prince of Persia is that kind of theme. I mean, aside from the little ukulele intricacies or whatever, similarities to the music, the music so far in this game hasn't really, like, grabbed me in any kind of, like, exciting way. It's nice, but it just doesn't really stand out. Cool lighting, though. I like the lighting off a crash in the fire. I didn't practice all of the stages of the second island, though. Um, I think Sunset Vista is where I stopped, so... It's probably what we'll be doing in this video, playing up to that stage. I have no idea how to... This, clearly there's something over there, there's a trail of apples, but I don't know how to get over there. a lot here the first time and I actually went to the right I thought you had to land on those little ones in the background I realized this was the path forward lucky timing oh yeah here too these platforms or no it's not this section yet it's when we get to the checkpoint you just gotta watch the shadow, because it's easy to do a full jump and miss these things. Or, like, overshoot it and fall in the gap. Oh, wait. I guess we already did that part. Whatever, it's done! Really not too bad of a level. I 
bet you those 15 boxes were over by that trail of apples. Road to nowhere, this is the one. This stage is pretty brutal. In fact, I think I'm gonna make a save because I wanna retain how many lives I have. All right, let's try it. Yeah, there's hogs on the bridge and you can't even do anything. Oh, what? Okay. I didn't realize I had, I was that close to an invincibility thing. That helps. All right, but what you can do is jump on the ropes and just skip all this nonsense that's crazy. It's just kind of a little tricky. You want to, yeah, okay, here we go. That should work and just hold forward and nothing else. But it's possible to be too far to the left or the right and then fall whichever way you're too close to. Yeah, it's so much better than doing all that dodgy platforming. But some spots, they don't make it too easy like this. Because these things fall from under, so you gotta wait till you get to these safer platforms. Oh uh, yeah, I, I saw it coming. I'm surprised I did not die, jeez. Yeah, you can tell I was way far to the right on the rope there. That's why I fell. Okay. This is going way better than the first time through. Yeah. I had to say something, didn't I? Man, that's the most irritating thing when you die and you're just trying to get right back and then you just, the very first thing you do is a death. What the heck? I mean, I get it. It's part of the challenge to hold forward the whole way and then maybe the next jump not so much the whole way and that's the challenge. But... Damn, if it's not irritating. Yeah, you can do a little slight adjustments if you realize you're too far to the right. Hog, get out of the way. Stupid. When we're going way the heck back there too, aren't we? Yep, the one that I died in how many times? But they were even saying in that speedrun that these bridge levels in the casual play is like the most notoriously evil thing. So that means there's another level just like this that's even harder. But I haven't even gotten there yet. Alright, you get the heck out of here. They said physical attacks don't hurt them. Yeah, I had to take the hit. So stupid. Let's see if we can get some lives back. Some of these have kind of neat puzzle setups. Like that's an automatic thing to bounce that. Kind of brings to mind like stage design stuff. Like a Mario Maker type thing, but Crash Bandicoot. Thinks the bonus arenas. Well, that's two lives back out of the... how many I lost? I don't know. Oh yeah, the turtles. They expect you to bounce. That's irritating as crap too. We, yeah, whatever. Get the heck out of here, you stupid turtle. Smack you. Get up there, okay. Should be good. Just hold forward. This is definitely a D-pad thing. Don't use the stick. We did it. Missed some boxes. I have no idea where they are, but look at that trail of apples. 
They must be beyond the way somehow. Hey, I'll take it though. Died a few times, but none. I lost like all of my lives the first time on that level. So I will absolutely take that. Boulder Dash. Poppycock. This is basically that Boulder Indiana Jones level, but harder. And I think this is one of the stages that is affected if you complete some other stage without dying and breaking all the boxes. There's a hidden gem path in here or something. Unless this is the stage that you're supposed to eat. not die and break all the boxes. I don't know. I forget. say this is definitely one of the better songs so far all right here's a question if ever in this situation why don't they just go to the side there's like all kinds of grass and stuff just jump into the leaves and then let it go past why oh, do you gotta keep trying to outrun it i guess it wouldn't be a stage then dang it son of a crumb stupid Like sometimes I get more mad now as an adult than I did as a kid with this stuff. I don't know what it is. I'm okay right now. It's mildly perturbed. It's the same exact spot, isn't it? I don't know if it's just, you know. In any given moment, you carry upon your shoulders more stress than you ever did as a kid. So you're already a little bit... Like one flick to the forehead away from freaking out about something. And so then you start dying left and right in a game. And it's like a... Again, man! A test of patience when you don't even have much patience anymore. stupid too because like you know it's not hard you did it before so why are you dying stupid there we go checkpoint oh yeah but we're not gone yet this is the one I messed up on a whole bunch the first time but I discovered something and I don't know how I did it this boulder there's a way to get really far ahead of it I don't know if it was just because I died so much that they did something to the timer of it. Because that's another thing I noticed. If you die a million times when you come back to life, it'll give you a free tribal mask. And then if you keep dying, you'll get the two stacked tribal mask. So I wonder if you die constantly in this stage, if they kind of make it easier to outrun the boulder. I think I'm screwed. I just ran into that thing. This happened so much, I hope I can do it. Or at least make it... Like I was saying, like so far behind me somehow. Crash has some cool animations on him though. It's very cartoony, like very fluid. Not so much like Cuphead type cartoony, but I don't know, there's something that you don't usually see. Come on, what the heck, man? I'm losing my patience with this. Baby jumps, maybe that's what we gotta do. Don't do the full jump, but then if you do a baby jump, it's not a big enough jump and you fall in the pit.
Remember the Sandlot scene where he's ch the dog is chasing him throughout the whole town? Uh, something about this just brought that to mind. I was looking at his shoes and then I was thinking about that. Oh, we did it! See, just talk about the Sandlot and it gets done. Oh yeah, yoy. Well, that's as far as I practiced, so... Yeah, there must be a hidden path where those other boxes are. Yeah, that'll be that. I'll have to practice the other stages so it's not a complete train wreck. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully it's bearable even though I suck.